good morning, good evening, or good night, whichever region you are in the world. You are at in the world. I say that so wrong every time. I'm sorry, guys. the same thing every time. It's okay. It's okay. My name is Richie Borici. Bing. No, no, it's this way. Oh. Bing. It's probably not going to be right here. It's probably going to be over here or something. I don't know, whatever. It's, it's somewhere over here. It's My name is Richie. Uh, welcome to another video of, I guess this is Richie Reviews, but... It's on old shoes, obviously, but sorry for the little delay that we had on timing, I guess. Just coming up with ideas, and I thought this one would be a really good idea, so we're going with it. These shoes and Kanye West have influenced me, and we're just going to talk about sneakers today. I'm not going to get into politics or his beliefs or the crazy things he says. I'm strictly going to talk about, and we're not going to talk about his music because I could go on for hours about his music. I will ramble your ear off on Kanye's music. But today we're talking about Nike Yeezys. Not the Adidas Yeezys, Nike Yeezys. I do have some Adidas ones, but yeah. Gosh, where do I start with this video? 2009 was when the Zen Grace came out. Well, these came out too. These were the last ones that came out. I don't have the black and pink ones, unfortunately, the first ones. I've been looking. We're here. These are the Yeezys. It took a very long time for me to obtain these shoes. Uh, I haven't finished the set, obviously, but I'm not paying $10,000 for an all red shoe. Just kidding. It's, it's a beautiful shoe. I've seen the red... Yeah, I think everybody's seen a red October in person, and it's like seeing the holy grail you know that's like uh i call them trophies you know because this is we're gonna get into this one first yeah so no we're not gonna get into this one first we're gonna get into the first ones first zen gray came out first uh may 4th 2009 if i'm not mistaken these came out and then the black and pinks came out and then these came out last and then a bunch of samples floated around like ebay and you know the grammy sample sold for 1.8 million <laughs> holy crap i was gonna say the s word but no youtube youtube exactly and then if i'm not mistaken these two came out in 2012 and then two years later the red octobers came out and the world exploded basically when those came out. The sneaker world exploded. These right here are very worn. They're breaking down. I need a sole swap on them, but I still wear them like a dummy. Look at that. Look at that sole separation right there. That's crazy, dude. There's no stars anymore, but um, yeah, these shoes hold a lot of... Uh, anger too because i never had them back then like it took me almost 10 years to get this shoe and this shoe it took me like nine years to get them you know and i got these off of goat i think in 2018 i got these off of goat in 2018 i got these off of goat in 2018 and it took a long time a lot of hard work you know these are like my trophies these are like things I'm going to put in a glass case one day and like if I ever meet Kanye if that ever happens or if Kanye you're little, if you're watching right now please contact me or hit you, tell your manager to contact me I would just love to talk a little FaceTime like I don't even want you to sign the shoes I don't care about it I just want to talk see where you're at but yeah these are my all time favorite shoes the net the tan whatever you want to call it this is my favorite shoe of all time because the details on it is just, and the quality of it. I don't think Nike's made something with this much quality in a while, or if ever, until this, until this point, in my opinion. And you had a great question before we started recording. What was it? The one about... Uh, oh, I said if... Um, do you like the shoe? Actually all of them in general because it's Kanye's or not I, I had asked like if, it, if Nike had just come out with it or if someone some other name came out with it would you still feel the same way um 
and my answer was it was kind of a <coughs> excuse me it's kind of a it's kind of mean answer not really mean but what does it mean but it, it was more of a question to the answer it was if Kanye didn't help design the shoe I don't think it would have came out this way mm-hmm. personally gosh it's not the lights. It's hot in here, so if you see a little sweat trickling down, <laughs> don't judge me. Yes, the reason why this is my favorite shoe of all time, and it's a very simple answer, is just because of this glowing swoosh right here. When I saw that, and uh, I, I, I don't know if someone was reviewing them or whatever, when I saw that, like my mind was blown when I saw the glowing swoosh. You know? And then I saw like this colorway, like I mean, nowadays you'll see this palette on like clothes and, and stuff, but back then I don't think you saw this kind of tan. It was more of like a darker brownish tan type stuff. This colorway is just insane. And then the lining, the pink lining and then the, the fuchsia lining right there. And then you got the lace the lace lock. I guess I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I guess it's technically a lace lock. Like he got uh, the influence from either, I think it was a Jordan Five or Jordan Six, because it was Jordan Six. It's one of Kanye's favorite shoes, apparently. So he got that idea from the Jordan Six, and it's a Y print. It's got a little Nike check, and then uh, it says Yeezy all over the lining, and then oh God, it's just it's just such a like I I I don't know how to explain it. And then you use like the strap. And the Yeezy stitching on the on the pull tab on the back. Just just an unreal shoe, you know, like it, it changed my whole perspective on sneakers when I saw it. And it that that's why it's such a big influence on me, because like it, it like the reaction I got from it when I first saw it was like, oh, what the heck is that? Like Kanye actually designed that because, like, at the time he dropped Louis Vuitton sneakers too, which I wish I had, but <laughs> yeah, those are <laughs> way out of the price range. So, yeah, these came out first. Um, these are a little different from these, not just because of the color, but the Y print is all over the the strap, and there's Y print all over the uh, the suede lining on the toe box, and the leather is just so soft like I've never felt leather this soft and this shoe like I said changed everything you know like I was into Jordans and stuff like Aqua 8s like I said in my uh, get to know me video that that was my uh, those, those were like my introduction to like actually knowing what they are instead of you know if you if you want to know more just watch the video like this introduced me because uh the bottom was it's not a jordan yeah it, i guess technically it's a jordan 3 but i forgot it's the air revolution i believe the the soul that they got it from and then the top is just all designed by you know all the designers kanye uh mark parker all them tiffany beers and like just the little hints like right here it's a Y, you know, and like the Y prints, like I brought up before, is just, I don't think you'll ever find a shoe like this. And it was the first collab with an artist like Nike did uh, back then. It was, it's just unheard of. I mean, MF Doom came out with his dunks in 07, but like, actually, yeah, yeah, he did. But I don't know if it made the same impact at the time. And I'm not taking anything away from MF Doom because, like, I'm a huge fan. But these just changed my whole perspective on fashion and sneakers in general, you know? Like, I just, I wanted to be like Kanye at the time because I was still a teenager, you know? And, like, I looked up to him, listened to his music all the time. I was bumping, you know, graduation college dropout late reg all that stuff you know at every single one of his albums and then like 808s dropped around the same time these came out sort of 808s dropped in 2008 that's my favorite album by him arguably probably his greatest album but we're not talking about that 
<laughs> um, yeah, and then the year after he came out with these, and it's just crazy. Like the fact that I have these in hand, and like the price of them is just insane. That I got, you know, decently good prices on them. And then 2012 came around, and I don't know which one dropped first. I should have looked that up, but it's okay. These are kind of messed up. I wore them the other day, and they're, you know, paint's coming off. It's known for these easy twos that come off. Uh, I actually got these off of eBay about, I don't know, two, three months ago, and I uh, got a decently good deal on it. You know how much these go for, you know? And, um, yeah, it came with all the accessories. The box was kind of messed up, but a lot of the boxes were back then. Authenticated by eBay, thankfully. Shout out to eBay, for real. And this one, I'm not going to say it had the same influence. Okay, yeah, it did. It did, I'm not going to lie. It had the same influence on me as these. But these are still my favorite silhouette out of the Yeezys. But these... I feel like are more wearable, you know, because these are a high top. I mean, I'm taller. I guess I, I could pull these off, obviously, but obviously, that's not so cocky. <laughs> <laughs> I could pull these off. <laughs> Keep that in there. Uh, but yeah, these are like, I guess, I guess you could say they're more low profile. But not really, because when you put these on, you're going to get attention if you go to, like, a sneaker con or whatever. Everybody's going to look. Even though they've seen the shoe a million times, they're going to look at this shoe, you know? They're going to be like, holy crap, this dude has them, you know? Or they're going to think they're fake, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you can't win, right? But, yeah, when these dropped, I obviously didn't get them. Like I said, I got them three months ago. It took me, what, nine years to get them, basically. Um, and... I guess I'm saying, um, I'm sorry. These came out, and the influence, like, stayed the same, you know? Like, aside from all the beef that they had, I really wish that they came out with a third sneaker, because who knows what they could have came up with, you know? Like, if they gave Kanye full creative direction on his shoes who knows what nike would have been i mean nike's still the biggest but i feel like it would have elevated them way higher than what they are now like it does like he he has not done with adidas yeah, no, yeah exactly like every no matter what all the v2s uh the 350 v2s he's came out with insane amounts of colorways and they still sell out some of them might sit, but they're not going to sit for long, you know? And it's not even... I'm not even just talking about resale value. Like, he said he's going to let everybody get a pair of Yeezys, and that's just what it seems like he's done. And that's just crazy. Imagine, you know, if he made, like, a a Wave Runner Nike, what that would have looked like. Or a 350... Like, original 350 or a 750 Adidas. Um, that would be... That would just be insane, like, but, you know, we can't all have what, you know, we wish we had, or we want, you know? Like he said in uh, the beginning of On Sight, or that, that sample in On Sight, you give us what we want, it may not be what we need, you know? Kind of like that. And, yeah, this shoe is probably not my favorite out of all of them, but I'm glad I have them. And they're they're easier wear, I guess, because they're you know sort of white, uh, gray, and obviously I didn't even go into the glow in the dark bottoms on these. Like I went in on these, but like just the glow in the dark on each of these shoes is my favorite. Like this, yeah, the the glowing swoosh is my favorite feature. But like if you ask me to tell you tell you like what is my favorite thing on every shoe is the glow in the dark bottoms. That. Damn, they're dirty. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I wear my shoes. Yeah, you should. And these, yeah, just the glow-in-the-dark bottoms, you know, the way they... Like, it reminds me of being a kid. It's, like, nostalgic when you wear a glow-in-the-dark shoe, you know? And... Yeah, it just brings me back to being a kid. That's what it feels like when you had the light-up shoes and stuff. The, uh... Like, there, there's a lot of similarities to the shoe. Obviously, the strap. Um... 
the the nice material they use like it, it it's it's not as this one's not as comfortable as the easy one excuse me but it, it it's it's more sturdy because these are like i'm not gonna say flimsy but like your 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 feet you, you got to get like a like a size and a half down not a size and a half a half size down in these you could and you'd still be comfortable you know because they're kind of big i got a size 12 and they feel like a 13 so like a 12 and a half 13 you know and yeah just the the little details on it you know like the little lace lock here it's got the roman numeral two on it and then uh yeah the strap and then inside the strap it's got hieroglyphics and apparently it says uh yeezy on it i think the hieroglyphics on it and then you know it came with the gold lace tips uh, I don't recommend wearing these out though, just because the, I, I had one fly off. Thank God I heard it, you know. And it came with uh, gray ones too, or like silver, I guess you could say. And then the ballistic uh, material here, I forgot. Uh, what is it? Canvas, I guess you could say. Ballistic canvas. I forgot the real word for it. And then the suede is really nice around the toe box, like. They're, they're similar in ways, but they're very different. You know, like the little details. It doesn't have a pull tab on the back, but it's got the spikes, which I really love. These are what make it stand out. And then the scales on the side are just like insane, you know? Like it looks like real anaconda skin, but it's not, thankfully. Shout out to all the anacondas. <laughs> Shout out to Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's funny okay um and then yeah like the soles are different obviously these came from uh andre agassi shoe i forgot the name of it sorry guys i'm not i'm very knowledgeable but you know not i don't know every single shoe that it came from i think if i did more research before the video <laughs> whatever all right guys now last but not least my prized possessions, my holy grails. Um, what else do I say about this shoe? This shoe is just uh, a in trophy. A trophy, yes. This is a hundred percent a trophy. I have no clue. I okay. Look, if you told me ten years ago I would have had this shoe, you'd be. I would have told you you're an idiot, or I would have thought you were crazy. You know, like I never in my life would I thought that I have a sample. Yeezy, a Nike Air Yeezy, in Kanye size. My size too. Like, the guy I bought it from, I bought these off eBay also. He said that his friend gave it to him because they owed him money and they they got authenticated and everything, so I know they're real. Um, but I don't know who wore them. Like, who wore them before he got them, you know? And he... It's not that he wouldn't tell me, he just didn't know. So, I don't know if Kanye wore these, or if someone in his camp wore these, or like one of his security guards, or just someone around him. Like, I sound like such a fanboy, like, it doesn't matter, you know, but... Yeah, but the thought of yeah. it is really cool. Yeah, exactly. And these just... Like, it... it I don't know, it's like, it just shows me... I'm not going to get, I'm trying not to get sentimental about it, but like hard work does pay off if you strive for it, you know, this took me years to obtain and it just means a lot that I have this shoe and do you think we should compare? I don't have the release pair. This is a, like I said, a sample pair and they feel a lot heavier than me. Not a lot, but just like a few ounces heavier you know and you're just crazy i don't know how to get into these like you just that can be for a whole nother video yep to be continued beep <laughs> we could yeah i'm my next video is probably going to be a, like a full thorough review on these and 
Like I said, if Con- if anybody in Kanye's camp is watching this, please let me know whose these were. Because a sample easy in his size, like, it, it, maybe these were handed to him and he was like, okay, these are cool. Or they were in his closet. Someone took them. I don't know, man. Like, let me know. Please let me know. Yeah, yeah so second video is going to be a more in-depth review on these. But I basically got it on these. But these just... Just the fact that they're a sample, size 12, is just insane that I have these in my possession and forever grateful for them. They mean a lot. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Like it. Um, stop saying um, oh, man. Jeez. I guess I gotta work on my speech. But like this video. Comment down below what your favorite Kanye sneaker is. It doesn't have to be... Nike? Nike. It could be the Louis Vuittons. It could be the Bapes. It could be the Reebok ones he came out with. He could be any shoe that he designed. I already said Louis Vuitton, huh? Yep. Uh, not Reebok. You said Reebok. Adidas. Adidas, yes. Whatever you like, comment down below which one's your favorite. I am going to be doing a review next video for these. I already talked about his influence. You guys already know. I'm a huge Kanye fan. People that know me know I'm a huge Kanye fan. And comment down below. We could have a discussion about it. You know, if you don't like the shoes, we could talk about why you don't like the shoes, you know? Like, I'm, I'm open to discussions. You know, I want more interaction from everybody watching. I know this video is a little longer than the other ones, but it's okay. You know, I had some good stuff to talk about. What are you saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Just let but me finish. It, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. What? Okay, yeah. So, like, comment down below what your opinions are on the shoes comment whatever you want yeah as always let us know let us know what, what you, you want to see what you want to see next if you want to talk about kanye's music influence on richie yeah we could talk about his music down in the comments i am open forever to talk about the music because <laughs> yeah you already know you know you but the people don't know that i'm a huge fan of the music Jesus is still a good album. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what the masses say, I love that album. Thank you. I appreciate you. You guys are the best. Get those subscribes up. Subscribe button. Smash it. Smash the like button. Comment whatever you want. Call me ugly. Call me... Mm-hmm. Big eared. <laughs> whatever. I know I got big <laughs> Thank you. Peace. I need the house. Sir. Sir. No. I need the yams. No. Oh. Oh. Do, 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 do.